Okay, we'll go over this shot uh, that I did last summer, about I think it was July 1st of 2020. This is with Rose Manchester. Went out to a park here locally, hooked up some stars and stripes, went ahead and did it. This is the raw file. Um, straight out of camera. We'll reset it, look like that. A little underexposed. Skies look a little drab. Color is a little, you know. So anyway, I uh, did some edits. Uh, the main thing is um, brought up the exposure a little bit, the highlights, uh, the contrast just a touch. Brought the texture down. I do that just because it, it kind of has a little bit of a smoothing effect on the skin. Not that she needs it, but uh, it helps a little bit. I did the dehaze. Let me turn it off. Um, that helped a little bit. Uh, I may... Uh, I think what I also did was um, let me bring it back up to bring it up to about right there. I think it was 16. I'm bring it down just a hair. 14. That looks pretty good. And I think I did a brush, probably with the. I did some saturation. Brought the exposure down. I don't know why I brought the clarity up. And that's all I did was I saturated uh, and brought the exposure down and saturated the sky just a little bit more uh, just to recover some of those blues. And so let's, that's pretty good, you know, right out of the gate, doing pretty good. Bring in a Photoshop, you know, she's a little off center. <laughs> um, and, you know, I could crop it, I guess, and move it over just a little bit, but I like. Um, you know, it's just, it's cropped right here just above the knee. Maybe you want to, I might crop it just a little bit higher, but I kind of, I don't want to lose, you know, the shape and everything, the legs. So let me just see what I can, I'll bring it over into uh, Photoshop and stretch the image and do a few other things, see what we can do here. I mean, it's pretty, pretty good right there, but, uh, so let me close that and I'm going to bring up Photoshop. I'm just closing Lightroom because it's a memory hog. So, first thing I'll do is I'll start cropping and get it to where I really want it. I really want her, you know, to be centered. About right there. And then I like the tattoo. Oh, we'll do it about right there. So, as you can see, I've got a big gap over here, which kind of got to do something with that. Uh, so the easiest thing to do is a content aware fill. So I'll select an area just outside of the black, about right to there, and I'll do edit content aware fill. And I will select an area here with the pixels that I want to fill it with. And over here, it will show me what it's going to fill it in with, and it does a pretty darn good job without me having to stretch anything let's see all right looks good and then you know the other thing you always want to look at is the horizon line um, it's a little I think it's fine like I'm looking at this right here kind of goes up there but it, then it kind of goes down over here and then up over here um, you know this goes down you just got to make eyeball it when you got lines that are not, you know, none of them are straight. So you kind of got to eyeball it and just, um, you just don't want to have a obviously crooked horizon line, right? Um, I think that looks okay. If anything, I, I could, you know, maybe bring this even up a little bit more, but I'm going to leave it. I think it's fine. I think with this line going up, this line going up. So you got to look at how it's weighted, and I think it's about averaged, so I'll leave it. Um, I could just stop here. I mean, it looks pretty good just like that. I'm trying to think of what else I even need to do. I'm going to flatten the background. Let's uh, go with, let's just zoom in and just see if there's any blemishes. I mean, she's darn near perfect. I mean... Yeah, if you want to get picky, I guess you could come in here and, 
you know there's a couple real small ones here that no one is going to see on Instagram really really just nitpicking here I mean what else is there to do yeah I could take that right there maybe she's perfect the way she is I mean we'll flatten that out because we don't I really didn't really do much there uh, the only uh, you know I could do the eyes a little bit I can brighten those up and I could do a little dodging and burning so uh, we'll just do all that in the dodge and burn layer now my version of dodge and burn I have my dodge layer my burn layer um, I use the black and white layer I'm gonna bring that down because it helps me see the difference between the highlights and the shadows a little better about right there yeah like that and then I can use this sort of master curves layer to kind of get it just how I want it and then for dodge I'll make sure my brush is selected I usually have my flow about 2% for the sort of the micro dodge stuff and let me zoom in I'm going to start working on the face a little bit just to and that's a little too close you know to really see what you need to dodge and burn you kinda of gotta zoom out eyeball it get an idea of what you want to work on and I can see pretty quickly that you know that's I wanna burn that right there dodge that right there dodge that a little bit maybe burn in here and dodge a little bit burn right here kind of just even out the stuff the the highlights and shadows there I want to try to even them out might do a little bit right here um, maybe a little bit right here so you know I really just I'll get going and and then once I kind of I'm zoomed out like this I'll zoom in because I know my target areas so I'm gonna I'm on dodge right now. I'm gonna start dodging right there just a little bit. And right here, and I'm using my left and right bracket tools, which are next to the P key to resize my brush. Make sure your brush is a soft uh, brush, softness down to zero. You don't want a hard brush. Um, let's see. You know, I might just kind of bring that down just a little bit. Okay, then I'm going to go to... Now see, I soften those areas. Not soften them, but lighten them. And this darker area doesn't seem as dark now, but I'll burn it just a little bit. Just to kind of even it out. And then... You know, I might burn right in here a little bit. And right here a little bit in here that's pretty good and we'll burn this right here kind of even that out just a little bit this I'm gonna leave it uh, you know you could go one way it could go either way I might uh, dodge this right here though just a little bit and then I'm gonna burn this right here just a little bit that's pretty good um, just for the micro I'm gonna zoom out and then I'm gonna yeah, I, I think I need to come in here and burn some spots see when you zoom out you can really see what you need to do And I'm going to flip the screen. I bring this over right here. Zip back out. Okay. Come right here. Burn that just a little bit. Yeah, 
undo that. I don't like that. I'm going to dodge right there. You know, I, I hit Control Z when I do something I don't like to undo it. And you can hit Control Z as many times as you have undos configured in the preferences. All right, so that's pretty good. I'm going to now move on to more of a, I'm going to set my flow up here to four. And we'll move on to more of a larger dodge and burn where we just dodge and burn the body. Okay, we'll dodge that right there on the arm while we're sideways and then everything else is going to be pretty much come over here I was going to say everything else will be pretty much I need to go to vertical mode but or portrait mode I'm in landscape right now so let me go back and we'll go here and then we'll come over here and we're just burning now the darker parts Here I'm getting a little bit of banding, like I can see some banding there. We'll see once I get out of uh, the black and white mode if that's still there. Sometimes when you push the image a little bit in Photoshop, you start to get a little bit of banding, which is annoying, uh, but fixed by adding a little bit of grain, which is a little odd, but I think it just odd that that even works <laughs> but it does I think it just breaks up the pattern more or less so let's go down here we'll do some dodge there some dodge there you know, we can dodge the hair a little bit. Just like that. It's pretty good. Dodge this area a little bit right here. That's pretty good. So I'm going to turn the helper off. Make sure I didn't royally screw anything up. and. You know, right away I can see the, the contrast is maybe a little high in the image. And the skin tones are a little on the yellow side. So I'll have to do some, some things with that. You know, also I can see where I did the dehaze in um, Lightroom. You know, right on the edges of the hair. There's little pieces that are a little darker um, that don't look right. I might... Yeah, I don't know, I'm nitpicking, but I could do something with those too. So, saving the image now. Okay. So that is saved. Turn the dodge and burn off. And on. So, adds a little bit of... A little bit of pop to the image. So what I'll do now is go over here and I like to have this little plugin called Lemenzia that I like to use that creates a bunch of blend if layers. And it helps me target different highlights and shadows in the image. So let me play with the this is going to be the the highlights probably on her and so it's a little little high I'm gonna leave it pretty much where it is this is going down more into the shadows kinda gives me a sort of a 3d pop but it also you know adds to that contrast so I'm not sure where I want that exactly you know maybe about right there And 
then let me lower these shadow shadows, the lower shadows. That's okay, let me turn it off. Turn it back on. Made a little bit of a difference because they're a little bit more of a 3D look when I brought those shadows down a little bit. Still kind of contrasty. I'm going to go to a hue sat. I'm going to come here and we're going to look at these right here. We'll change the hue. Is it doing anything? There we go. Let's turn them blue. <laughs> You know, there's still a little bit of purple outline on them, and it almost looks like fringing. Let me do another hue sat, see if I can get rid of those. I'm going to come in up right up here. That's a little interesting effect right there. There's no editing there, that's weird. Kind of makes me wonder, was she real? Or was she a figment of my imagination? Was she a hologram? Let's bring that saturation down. Ye. Okay, so we've got our nails done. We'll save that. So that's pretty good. Let me go to a selective color. Let me go to the neutrals. Take a look at the magentas. Bring those kept them the same yellows bring those yellows down that that kind of helps yeah with the the skin was a little bit you know yellow and then we'll go with the black and bring the black down a little bit it was you know a little bit it looks washed out if you bring it down too much but it was a little bit contrasty and that helps and the neutrals there. So we'll go to the blacks. That. And look at the black here. Bring that down to there. And let's go to the See what happens when we mess with the red slider. I don't want her to look too pink, but that looks pretty good right there. So let me just do an overall like a color balance. About right there. And I'm just eyeballing it. You know, the best thing to do is There's a bar right there. Might need the uh, blues, might be. Might need to add the blues back in just a little bit. Maybe we're about right there. Hard to say. A lot of times I'll just uh, kind of eyeball it here and I'll walk away for a while and come back and then readjust after, you know, let my eyes readjust and come back. Sometimes you can just make the image black and white for a little bit too. Um, Go back down here to the dodge and burn. We'll turn on the helper. Just turn it black and white for a second. And that kind of resets your eyes. And then bring the color back up. And then look at it and see if it's like glaringly horrible. 
it's good I, I might come back later i'll let my eyes rest and um you know make a, a final adjustment but that's pretty good and we'll save that and i'm i'm liking it so thanks for tuning in and watching this edit um hope you enjoyed it let me know uh, in the comments section what you think uh, make sure to subscribe because i'm pretty new at this and you know as i get better video you know i am a photographer and i'm not a videographer so uh, i am working on my video rig and getting all that going so no doubt things will uh, the content will improve video wise uh, for now i'm just doing more screen recording type edits and things like that but um, look for more as i progress in learning uh, video a little bit more uh, and i appreciate you staying with me thanks